solving quadratic equation solve the given quadratic equation and explain your strategy x plus 3 whole square equals to minus 2x I'm Anil Kumar and we'll look into different kinds of strategies which can be applied to solve quadratic equations well one of them is factoring as you know and if factoring doesn't work we could use quadratic formula right here in this particular case x plus 3 whole square equals to minus 2x we can't really square root it since there is minus 2x here so quadratic formula is the best strategy to apply before that we should write this in a standard form you know general standard form for any quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and then you can apply the quadratic formula and get the value of x which is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a right so that is going to be our strategy so let's bring this minus 2x to the left side and expand x plus 3 whole square so what do we get we get x square plus 2 times 3x which is 6x plus 3 squared is 9 bringing 2x to the left makes it plus 2x equals to 0 combine the like terms we get x squared plus 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 9 equals to 0 right now in this particular case if you want to factor you want to get 9 which is 3 times 3 or 9 times 1 right since both are positive we have to use the same signs will not be in a position to factor them so we have to apply quadratic formula right now here in this position you know a is 1 b is equals to 8 and c is equals to 9 so using quadratic formula which is right there we can say x is equals to minus of b which is minus 8 plus minus square root of 8 square let me write 8 square first minus 4 times a is 1 times c which is 9 divided by 2 times 1 which is 8 right so let's now figure out what the values are minus 8 plus minus square root of 8 is 64 9 times 4 is 36 you have to keep your calculator handy to solve these questions right now here we have minus 8 or we can write I think we could solve it in simpler steps minus 8 plus minus and square root of 64 minus 36 so we have 64 minus 36 is equals to 28 right so we have square root of 28 divided by 2 now in case of radicals we like to keep them in radical form 28 can be written as 7 times 4 right so I could write this as minus 8 plus minus if I write radical as 7 times 4 I can take 2 outside and I get 7 within the square root right? 7 times 4 is 28 divided by 2 now that gives us 2 answers 2 divides into minus 8 giving us minus 4 plus and minus square root of 7 correct so these are the two values which will solve our equation correct so our answer is x equals to minus 4 plus minus square root of 7 right so if they don't mention that the answer should be given into so many decimal places you should leave it as an exact value so that is the answer for us I hope that is clear thank you and all the best